things just have not been going well at all. I can only think of a couple of positives. They're all on the transfer front in that we did not lose players that had offers come in. We'll talk about that. Roll the intro. And please, God, let us find a win. Please. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to FM21. This is our single team save with DeGraff Shop, episode 42, and we're struggling. There's nothing else I can say about it. Let's take a look at the competition. We are down in 13th, barely clinging on to one point per match. Nine points from nine, a minus three goal differential. Two wins, four losses, and three draws. Has not been going well since the loss to Hertha. We had a 1-0 loss to Vitesse, a 6-3 defeat to Ajax. Anton Kernjik did get a hat trick, so thumbs up to him for that. Groningen was a 2-2 draw. Vicario finally scored his first goal of the season, and Resnick got another goal as well. Uh, we were up 2-0 at that point and gave up a 60th minute equalizer. Uh, that was just brutal, but not as brutal as the 5-1 drubbing. Kernjik got a, the only goal for us. Regoin scored four for Willem. And then Eindhoven, we did get a 4-1 win, a brace from Kernjik. Melvin Gerber scored there, and Servinka a stoppage time goal. Uh, Gerber, of course, it came off of a corner. Uh, we're going to have highlights from Sparta and our Dutch Cup first round against our perennial opponent, Catwick. Uh, so we'll watch that today. I do want to look at uh, a couple of bits of transfer news. I guess I can't show older deals that fell through. Uh, one of them, Gerver, of course, wanted to be listed, uh, was asking for a trade. He is now wanted by somebody, Union Berlin. Does he still want to leave? Yes, still waiting for it. So we'll leave him on the transfer list. Uh, we did transfer listing twice down the stretch. Nobody offered for him. So he said he was happy to stay, but still does want to leave. Then uh, we had put an offer because we thought we were going to lose Gerber, and then Samir had somebody meet his release clause. I believe it was $4.1 million. Funny, they came in and offered us like $1.6. We rejected it. They came right back the next day and offered $4.1. And uh, luckily, he turned it down. In the meantime, we went out and made an offer on another center back, that was going to cost a boat ton of money. He's on $25,000 a month with his new contract that we signed him to after he rejected the contract from the incoming club. The player we were going to sign was a 22-year-old Dutch player. He wanted $106,000 a month. And he was the best of four options that we had. We made the offer, and then luckily Samir rejected it. We gave him a new, new contract with a pay raise, no release clause unless we get relegated. Uh, he signed that. We pulled out of the other deal. So luckily, whew, that uh, that happened. And uh, Geert Thielmans uh, is now happy to stay at the club. So we uh, have worn him down. And again, definitely need to be playing him. Uh, he has great potential and i think that's you know he's going to be a guy we're going to have to play a lot now luckily he can play a couple of positions uh we've been playing a 442 as an alternative tactic so he can play mid right mid center there and in the 4222 or the 424 he can play attacking right wing in that tactic as well as central mid. So we can play him in a couple of places. 
And you can see he's got six matches in nine, five starts. So, you know, we're going to make a concerted effort because he could be really good. So uh, today's match is, uh, again, we're going to see the highlights from Sparta. I need to go play that. So let me go do that. We'll be right back with highlights. In this one, we started Thielman's in the central mid again, trying to keep that run of starts going to try to see him develop. Nice little give and go by Kernjik Bakario back to Kernjik. He brought it up to the edge of the box, beats the keeper at the near post four minutes in, and we were out to a one nothing lead. I probably should terminate. I'm surprised Sparta hasn't terminated their affiliation with us. I'm happy to keep taking their money every year as long as they give it to us. Delcroix gets beat to his left by Ricardo from the edge of the box, and that was his first goal of the season. Just before half, Meyer comes in, a header across to Cervenka, and the left winger put it in at the back post, and that made it 2-1. And then Resnick bringing it up off the midline, up to Vicario, into the box, just inside the spot, and he places it home near post, makes it 3-1 to one in the 75th minute, and we would get the three points. Big, big result against Sparta. Somebody that we actually have done very well against. One goal, two assists, three key passes. Uh, we're going to definitely put that and superb in front of goal. Morale trending back upward. And somebody, who is this guy? Keeping an eye on Resnick. No clue who that is. Belgian Pro League, 10th position. Keep watching, dude. You, uh, you'll you have to make a big offer. All right, let me get up to the Dutch Cup. We'll be right back for that against Catwick. All right, before we get into today's match... I want to take a look at Chris Natumba at Utrecht. One goal, two assists in the Arita VC, one goal in his first cup match. Uh, he stole the show uh, with that one goal, evidently, but I did want to look at him. Um, a little bit of seller's remorse. I really liked him. He was very, very good player for us. 18 goals, two, two out of three seasons. I hope we don't regret moving him on. Taking a look at selection for today, we're going with Delcroix in goal, Barisic on the left, Okachi on the right, Gerber and Kaisela in the central mid. Actually, you know what? No, I am going to bring on... Let's bring Samir on, because they have a good partnership. I like Kaisela. He's probably better than both of them, but that's a good partnership. Grutunk, Thielman's in the mid, Resnick, Servink on the wings, Kernjik and Vicario up top as our strike force. And yes, we only have 11 of 12 subs. Uh, that's from a fitness perspective and some dings and injuries in the medical tent. Um, finish where you left off last match. Let's give some encouragement in the early going. We're in the blue and white. Catwick in their traditional orange. Little flick on header by the defender. That's interesting. Back to the keeper. He plays it out with plenty of time. Cervenka in some space. Crossed over. Vicario puts it over the goal, but on target. At least, at least it was dead center. So that's encouraging. And when I say on target, it was at least in the direction of the goal, not that it was at the net, because that would have been an actual on target. We finally do get one on target. Oh, Virgil. Well, it's not Virgil Van Dyke, but Van Dyke injured by Stadoko. Interesting name. All right, Grutunk crossed into the box. There's a header down. Who got that? I couldn't tell. An own goal. Sweet. We'll take that. I'm never too proud to accept an own goal. Gamara is marking Samir there. Oh, it went off his chest. Oh, Vlar is going to be irate with that. And I can't blame him. Not in the least. 
I'm hoping that we're just seeing some early settling in problems for the side. We did have quite a few new players come in. Good header down, Vicario. Oh, good through ball to Kernjik. And, oh, he just banks it off the outside of the post. Gives away the goal kick. But we have been the dominant side here. Nine shots to zero. Kernjik. A oh, beautiful through ball to Resnick. And he slots it home at the far post. His third goal of the season. I'm going to have to give some serious thought. Resnick is... Resnick had a really good year last season from that wing position. Now, he's more natural as a striker, but if I want Vicario in there, and I kind of want to give him a run just to see he was in poor form early in the season. Samir goes over. Now, putting Samir in and taking out our other defender, the new, new guy, that's where we actually lose something. Vicario. Oh, no. Vlar was out of the goal. Vicario had an open net to head into, and he sends it high. All right, we're going to demand more. Barisic. Good cross. Resnick runs onto it. Oh, and there's a header, and then a blocked shot. Krizenik can't do anything with it there, but we are holding a 2-0 advantage. They have not shown a threat. Sometimes those are the games I worry about most. You know what I'm saying? All right, they make a halftime substitution. Cervenka and Resnik are tired. Oh, there's a chip on. Was he offsides? No. Oh, that was a... Poor, poor effort on defense. They just let him run right past the edge. Gerber, oh, Gerber came up and Samir let him beat him. Oh, just took the angle. Delcroix didn't stand a chance, although he was out of position too. All right, let's take a look. Cervenka, let's bring on, um, I'm going to bring on Malmsteen over there for Cervenka. And then let's give uh, let's give Jegu some game time. He's back from injury, but has not played this season. So hopefully we can see him do something. Can we demand more? All right, Okachi. And it's a long throw right to the other team. We do win the header by Samir over the top. And what a save by Vlar. Tell you what, we're going to make our last sub here too. Uh, we're going to bring off Resnick. Tell you what, let's bring Thielmans on for him. And Vigneron into that central mid. The Thielmans will just move up into the attack zone. The block wins the ball. Gerber way out of position. I think Jegu just took the professional foul. Let's us reset. And a header. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Set piece. Oh, that is brutal. I am really unhappy with Delcroix. I'm thinking about calling back that kid from loan if I can. All right. Mullenstein. Mullenstein. Banks it off the defender. Grutunk, Mullenstein, looking for a pass. There's Vigneron, Altajegu. There's a ball over. It's a header. Oh, that was in, but it was offsides. 
Vicario, chance to be a hero again. Four minutes left. The keeper flubbed it, and it falls to Kernjik, and Okachi gets the assist and the ninth goal of the season by Kernjik. He has really turned into something special. And why he has taken over our number one striker spot. Vlar flubbed the ball. I don't know if he tried to punch that or just dropped it. Four minutes of stoppage time. Flick on header. Thielmans is there and his first goal of the season. And we have iced this with two goals in the final five minutes of play. Four to two. And honestly, it should not have been that close, right? Got a nice flick on header there. And then Thielmans just walks it into the goal. Uh, set piece. All right, there's Delcroix. He makes a play like that, and it makes me go, okay. Uh, through ball. Kernjik's on it, and he's taken down. Oh, my God, we're going to get a penalty to just rub their nose in it. Gerber comes up from his center back spot. We know he is our penalty taker. And that's by team choice. I have nothing to do with that. Bottom left. Nope, he dives him the wrong way. He knew the keeper was thinking bottom left, and he sent, he sent it the other way. And this is going to look to the rest of the world like an easy 5-2 victory. But we know it was anything but. Five shots, four on target, two goals. We end up with a 4.44 XG. Uh, yeah, we were poor out there. They were demotivated. Sorry. You know, I'm not going to give you guys credit for all those late goals. All right, we hammer Catwick. First round of the Dutch Cup. 61,000 in the bank. Kernjik gets a goal and two assists. We're going to congratulate him. And I don't know when the next round of the Cup is. Okay, it's not for a while. So we probably won't know our opponent here for a minute. So... We're actually turning things around. Three wins, all pretty dominant. Kernjik has been four goals in three matches. He's been really good. We've climbed back up to mid-table or near mid-table, just behind AZ, 12 points from 10. We've got to keep this going. We've got to keep this ship righted. I think we, uh, we do another run here, come back for... Um, Let's come back for Villem highlights and our second round match. We are expected to reach the third round. So we'll see who we draw and see if that can be done. Guys, please hit that like button if you like what, I, what you see and like what I'm doing. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget, daily Football Manager content Monday through Saturday. So hit that notification bell to get your reminders for both saves that I have going here on the channel. Thanks so much as always. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.